everyone. Today we will be installing the uh, ultimate clutch pedal on my E92M3. Um, it will be replacing the stock clutch pedal and minus a lot of play just because I removed both springs. I didn't really like the feel with both springs in there. So uh, it feels better than the stock, but it has a lot of play. So I guess ultimate clutch pedal would be the only solution that would fit my needs per se so this is a much more sturdy pedal really good quality heavier than the stock and um, they will replace the clips that I will show later using nuts and bolts so it'll be easier to reinstall and to uninstall whenever you need to and another thing is that they use solid bronze bushings instead of the nylon or plastic bushings they use I will show you later and yeah so they gave a really detailed instruction here pull it out I think it's a total of eight pages I have installed this before so I hope I probably won't be referring to this as much but all we basically have to do is take three screws here uh, I think they're T20s and you'll have four connectors inside. I think they will differ with um, different car options. And then um, there will be a, you'll have to remove a lightweight spring and over center spring. And lastly, it would be the E-clip that connects the pedal to the pivot shaft. Um, let me take this out and I will continue when I get in there. So I took the three, three screws out and there will be a tab here that connects to the um, I don't know, padding I guess. And just pull it down slowly. Um, the edges are a bit sharp so you can damage your plastic trims if you're not too careful. And you can see four connectors, one, two, three, and four. And they, are, they all just plug off really easily but for this one, um, it is better to remove the whole module itself rather than the wire or the clip. So what you have to do is, there are two tabs, one here and one at the back here. You just push this one and pull this one and you pull the whole module out through these two holes or whatever you call it. And you should be able to remove this. And after that you will be able to see the whole pedal from here and I will go on from there. Alright, once you remove the tray or pedal out, you can see the whole pedal from here. Um, this is called the lightweight spring. This is the easiest part, you just have to use a pick tool and um, take it out, push it down and release it. So just be careful because it's a spring, it might fly. And I am upside down right now, but the clip is right here, and all I have to do is just, yeah, this position won't work, but get the clip, and then, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to take another pick tool, but um, just pull it off and push this barrel, and it will come out here, all right. All right, I will show you guys how to take this lightweight spring out. So it just connects to the hole there, to the um, hole in the pedal. You just pull it down and release it slowly so it doesn't fly to you. And the next thing is the, um, this thing what, that connects to the master cylinder. This is the quarter inch drive that I told you about. So what you have to do is basically just, where is it? push it like this I won't be able to do it with just one hand because it's a bit hard but once I get it to um, push a bit I will record it again and show you where to go from there all right guys this is the push pin that was connecting the master cylinder to the pedal so um, the direction is like this um, 
just imagine the pedal over here. What I did was insert the end of this into here and you just push it over there and and this will go into the pedal a bit and then you just take the other end and push it. Just be careful again, it will you know fly and yeah, safety first. So right now I will be it's already a bit loose and it's disconnected from the master cylinder. Over here. The, um, the green cylinder over there is already disconnected. So the only thing left I have to um, remove is the E-clamp over there. And the pedal will be good to go. So this is the E-clamp that connects the pedal, that holds the pedal to the pivot shaft. Um, I did a bit of damage here but don't really worry, they provide a new E-clip with the ultimate clutch pedal. But what I basically did was just insert this right here with a flat head and just push it out. Just be careful though, because um, you'll be access accessing the through the master cylinder. Just don't put a bit, don't don't put too much pressure on this, or just we just don't want to risk breaking that. And now this should be easy to remove. Uh, just wiggle it out but there's not plenty of space because of all the wires here so just take your time with it um, get a most comfortable position and I will update you guys once I get this out and we'll be ready to install the new pedal all right so I took the stock pedal out it was pretty easy these are the bushings I mentioned before um, those are not cracked I think the design was like that yep and you can see the side-by-side -side comparison um, this, this has a more I guess linear shape to it which contributes to why the ultimate clutch pedal is so popular and this is this feels very flimsy it's made of plastic and it's made of I think aluminum and if you can see here there are three mounting options to the over center spring that I showed earlier the the one with the push up uh, barrel pins and the c-clips and the furthest away from the pedal itself is the stock position like this and this is just the middle and the closest to the pedal would be the stiffest setting and so this will be the hardest to press and instead of the push pin um, I don't know where I put mine just now but they will be using a um, 17 millimeter not and you can use a six millimeter allen hex key here to hold and i recommend using sockets for this instead of wrench unless you find a way to uh, make it fit in there and this instead of uh, the lightweight spring going here it will go here and lastly, yeah, I won't be installing this, so I'll be removing it, but that's the over, oh, basic overview of the pedal itself. So first of all, we will be going to um, install this to the pivot shaft. Um, the install will be a bit tight just because the tolerances are, um, I'm, I'm not sure if it's significantly smaller or not, but just be careful not to break the bronze bushing as it is soft and it's self-lubricating. And after that, we will be, for you guys who want to install the over center spring, you will be doing that first before the connection to the master cylinder. So yeah, let's get to it. All right, I was able to slide the pedal, the ultimate clutch pedal fairly easily just now. Um, so the next thing we'll be putting the bolt and nut here into the master cylinder you just have to align it well and please when installing this pedal just be careful of the master cylinder here um, just make sure that it's not in your way and you're not pushing against it we don't want to break this so yeah I'll be installing that and reinstalling the lightweight spring later on from here into here and we should be ready to go all right, so I put the nut, um, let's focus, the nut here and the bolt from the other side in. 
the bolt uses 6 millimeter allen hex key and this uses a 70 milli 17 millimeter socket or wrench now i will be putting the lightweight spring from here if i can put it in there you go into the screw that is over here Again guys, be careful when using, um, when playing with springs, you don't really know if it will fly or not. So yeah, that is all for the installation. And I might edit the video later, but don't forget to put the e-clip here, I forgot to mention earlier. And I have, um, they provide a new clutch stop, but I already have one here. Um, it looks a bit squished, but so I might just change it. Um, you just have to pull it off and yeah, just assemble everything back, the panel, and enjoy your beautiful, sturdy, and linear clutch pedal. Alright guys, I am done with the install. Just a quick recap. So, once you get everything out, um, the stock pedal out, you basically have to move, um, insert the new pedal into the pivot shaft on top, and then secure it with the E-clip over there, um, beside, right in front of the bronze bushing and then you will be installing the nut here which connects to the bolt uh, over here i don't know if you can see it and that will secure the pedal to the master cylinder and then you will be putting in the lightweight spring back and this is the case um, or scenario i'd say um, if you don't install the over center spring again if you do um, make sure to install the over center spring first before the one that connects to the master cylinder over here just because it will tense everything up and it will be hard to put the springs over center springs back into the original position and you can see a tad bit of play here just because i don't have these springs but um, i had a problem where the pedal was sticking to the to the floor here if i used the inner spring only um, I haven't tried any other methods like only the outer spring or both springs but I really like the way it feels and you can't really feel this play when you're driving. So yeah, let's go for a test drive and make sure everything is okay.